better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world Today we are still looking at the Christian approaches to work and we are looking at the rights of employers. In our previous lesson, we were looking at the duties of an employee towards, duties of an employer to their employees. And now, these employers also, they have their own rights. We are looking at Christian religious education rights of employers. Now, the right number one is to get profit from their their business to create profits right number one is to create from their business they have a right for the conducive environment so that they can create the profit remember the main issue one forms a business is to have a profit so they need to get an environment that will help them to create profits from their their business. Another thing is to hire and dismiss the employees. To hire, they have to hire, they have to correct and dismiss employers. They have to hire the employers. When the employers are messing up with the business, they correct them. When they are not Responding positively to the corrections, they are, they are dismissed. Another thing is to demand fair days of work. Fair days of work. And this one they demand it maybe from the government, they demand the fair days of work. Not every day should be a holiday, a holiday so that they go, the business goes down. They, have, they need their time, their days for, for business. Another thing is to form association with other employers. Form association form association with other employers. They have to form an association, associate with other employers. Look at other businesses, form an association. See what other businesses are doing in order to, to prosper so that they can copy. That comes when they, the business are associating. So they need time to, to associate. Obtain and conduct business. Obtain and conduct their business. Conduct their business without any harassment from the, from the government or from anyone. As long as they, are, they, they have a genuine business, they have a right to, to conduct their business genuinely. Now, let us look at some of the, let us look at some of the moral duties of employees. Now, these employees, people that have been employed to work, what are their duties? The duties of employees, duties of employees. Duties of employees. We are looking at the duties of the employees. Duties the employees. The employees have a duty to carry out their business without any supervision. Carry out their duties. They need to carry out their duties well, without supervision or with little, very little supervision. An employer needs to, to trust the employee, the employees, so that they can trust and trust them with anything. 
because they have the virtue to relate it to work. They carry out the business with no or with little supervision. Another thing, to the, the, the duties of, of the employees, they have a duty to respect the property of the employer. They have the duty, they have to respect them, the, 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 everything they have been entrusted with that belongs to, to the employer. To encourage peaceful, peaceful what? Peaceful solutions to problems. They have to, to reach peaceful solutions. These are the duties of employees. They, they, they don't need just to wake up in the morning and, and conduct, engage in a strike. No. They need to have a method or a way in which they solve the problems related to work, the challenges they, they relate to, to work. They have to respect their, their employers. Respect. This is a duty. Respect their employer and other employees. This is a duty of an employee. They need to have respect. Respect their the employer. If they have to observe the terms of contract with the employer. Observe terms of contract. Employers, they need to observe the time of contract where, where the, when they, their contract is expiring, they should be very much aware. Another thing that is their duty, to be honest. To be honest to employers. To be very truthful, that somebody can, can believe in them. They to be truthful, they should be truthful. They have to work with diligence. Be hardworking. They have a duty to be hardworking. Hardworking towards self-fulfillment. They need to be hardworking towards self-fulfillment. So these are some of the duties that an employer the duties an employee need to observe. They need to have this, these duties in carrying out their daily businesses. They need to have these following duties to ensure that they are doing the right thing. Now, let us look at some of the few rights of employees. The employees have the following right. Employees, one, to receive a fair wage. Employees need to receive a fair wage or a fair pay from the employer. They need to be paid well. They need to be paid well. Another thing, to have a reasonable workload. Do not overwork the, the employees. Now that you are paying them, ensure that you use you use them well. Another thing, they have right to safety and protection. The employees, the employees, they have the right to, to protection. They have to be, to be protected and the right to fair opportunities and provision. An employer needs to ensure that whenever they arise an opportunity, for example, a scholarship in their organization, they ensure that the employees are the first people to benefit. Now, this brings us to the end of our lesson today. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Have a nice time. Goodbye.